Hello and welcome to this video on calculating probabilities using counts. Now we've previously seen probability to mean the proportion of time we expect to see something to happen. So for example, if a probability was say half, then it means we expect to see that thing happen half the time. So for example, the probability of seeing heads on a fair coin would be half because when we flip a fair coin, we expect to see heads half the time. So that's what probability means. Now we can work out probabilities using counts and the formula that we're going to use is this. So the probability of something happening, some event happening is equal to the number of matching outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. And this hopefully should become clearer when we do a particular example. Let's consider these shapes here. What would be the, probab the probability that when we randomly choose a shape that we see a circle. Well, we look at the number of matching outcomes. How many shapes match circle? Well, we can see there's two. So we put two divided by the total number of outcomes. Well, the total number of shapes we could pick from is six. So it's two out of six, and we could always simplify that fraction to a third. So when we pick a random shape, we expect to pick a circle a third of the time. What about the probability of picking a white shape? that's not shaded. Well, we do the total number of matching outcomes, one, two, three, four matching shapes, divided by the total number of outcomes, which is six, and we could always simplify that to two thirds. Now let's try and answer these questions here. We've got, I throw a fair dice. What's the probability that I throw, that I throw a two, an even number, at least a one, and at most a three? So, what's the probability of getting a 2? I'm just going to write P of 2 to mean the probability of getting a 2. Now, what's the total number of matching outcomes? Well, there's only one number that's a 2 on a dice, so there's only one matching outcome where we get a 2. And that's out of how many possible outcomes? Well, there's six different outcomes on a dice. It could be 1 to 6, so it's going to be 1 out of 6. What about the second one, the probability of getting an even number? I'm just going to write probability of even well, how many matching numbers are there? Well, we could get a 2, we could get a 4, or we could get a 6. So there's three matching outcomes, so it's 3 out of the total number of possibilities, or we can choose from 6 numbers, so it's 3 out of 6, which could be simplified to half. What about the probability of at least a 1? At least 1 includes 1 itself, so the number you could get is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. Well, that's everything, so that's just going to be 1. It was a trick question. It's absolutely certain that we get at least a 1 on a dice. And what about at most a 3? Now, at most 3 includes 3 itself, so we could get 1, 2, or 3. That's 3 out of the 6 times which we could simplify to a half. Now, this question, if I said the probability of getting less than 5, when you use the words less than, that doesn't actually include 5 itself, because otherwise we'd write at most 5. So less than 5, it could be 4, 3, 2, or 1. So that's 4 out of 6, which you could simplify to 2 thirds. And what about this second question? I pick a card from a deck of cards. There's no jokers in the pack. What's the probability I get a diamond, a jack, and a red 10? Now, if you're not familiar with cards, and this is why they don't ask questions about cards in GCSE papers, then you have four different suits. So you've got the diamonds, you've got spades, you've got clubs, and you've got hearts. Now, these cards are red, the diamonds and the hearts, they're red cards whereas spades and clubs are black. And within each of these four suits, there are 13 cards. So there's 13 cards where the cards are, you've got one, which is otherwise known as an ace, you've got two, all the way up to 10. And then instead of 11, you have a jack, and then a queen, and then a king. So you've got 10 number cards, if you include the ace as a number card, and then three picture cards, the jack, queen, and the king. So there's 13 of each suit, and you've got four suits, therefore that's 52 cards in total. So what's the probability of getting a diamond? Well, the probability of a diamond, this is the shape for diamond, is, well, how many diamonds are there? Well, I said there's 13 of each suit, so 13 out of 
the total number of possibilities, the total number of cards, which is 52 cards. And that would simplify to a quarter. So a quarter of the time we'd expect to get a diamond. What about the probability of a jack? Well, there's a jack within each of the four suits. So there's four jacks in each pack out of the 52 cards we could possibly pick from, and that would simplify to 1 in 13. And finally, a red 10. Well, there's a 10 in each suit, so we've got four 10s, but only two of the suits.